In this video, I'm going to explain to you the four best things you can do to help your child with ADHD build their self-confidence. Number one, the most important thing to understand is the way children build self-confidence is through recognizing their abilities within themselves. So if you want to help your child with ADHD build their self-esteem, they have to be put in situations where they're going to be challenged and there's going to be probably some frustration because they need to realize that they are more capable than they thought they were. Very often, parents of kids with ADHD want to protect them from experiencing any type of temporary discomfort. And sadly, because of social media, the word trauma has been so overused that a lot of parents have been misled to believe that their child being temporarily uncomfortable will cause them some kind of trauma. So here are some simple things that you can do to put your child in situations that will help build their self-esteem. Number one, teach them a new skill, like doing their own laundry, even if they don't like it or they don't want to learn how to do it. When you teach them that, they will have developed greater independence. And by developing greater independence, kids develop greater self-confidence because they realize they're more capable than they thought they were. Having your child participate in a new activity like a youth group or a theater class or a new sport, things like that, are also a great way to help them develop self-confidence. Keep in mind, many kids with ADHD have a very narrow comfort zone and they do not like going outside of that comfort zone. As a result, they will often say no to anything new or unfamiliar. Sometimes it's because of fear of the unknown. Sometimes it's because they're scared that they won't be good at something. And sometimes they're just saying no because it's much easier to sit at home in front of screens than to try something new and move out of their comfort zone. This is when you have to step into your parental authority and you can present them with some options and say, here are three options for different things you can try. Pick one of them. And if you choose not to pick one of them, then I'm going to pick for you. Your child is not your partner in parenting. They need you to lead them. And sometimes they need you to make decisions for them because if you let them make decisions that keep them in their comfort zone, that is going to enable their inflexibility and inflexibility will get worse with age. I promise you. Help them realize past successes and apply that past success to something in the present or near future. Many kids with ADHD struggle with what is called episodic memory, which is our emotions associated with past experiences. So for many kids with ADHD, they tend to only remember strong negative emotions and don't remember positive emotions from past experiences. Let me give you an example. Let's say your child went to a summer camp last summer and they had a great time and they really liked it and you ask them in the spring if they wanna go again and they say no. It's not that they don't wanna go, what it is is that they're not remembering how they felt when they were successful at camp last summer because that experience is too far outside of their time horizon, so they're not remembering the emotions from that past experience where they were successful. So what we can do is help them remember when they were successful with things in the past, when they've overcome challenges, used resiliency, and we can apply that to things in the present. Here's what that would sound like. Last summer, you went to this camp where you didn't know anybody and you wound up making friends and had a good time and the kids liked you. Well, when you go to youth group, it's going to be the same thing. You're not going to know the kids at first, but I'm sure you're going to be successful because you've already proven in the past that you can be successful in new social situations. The next thing is not provide them with reassurance. Instead, show them that you are confident in their ability to overcome challenges or temporary discomfort. So what you wanna do instead is just instill your confidence in their ability to be successful. As an example, if they start making self-defeating comments or saying they don't wanna do something, rather than give them reassurance or start playing armchair therapist and trying to talk about feelings, just say to them, I am more than confident that you are going to be successful in this. When you give a short response like that, what you're actually doing is not feeding into your child's self-defeating thoughts because often what adults do with the best of intentions is they give so much energy and attention to a child's self-defeating comments or irrational thoughts that they actually cause the child to believe, well, my thoughts must be really valid because look how much attention adults are giving to it. So all you need to do is say to your child, I'm confident in your ability to do this and I believe in you. Last thing, self-confidence is not only built through recognizing our abilities within ourselves, but also through recognizing that other people want to be around us. So if your child with ADHD struggles socially, you can help them. And I will tell you that this is a slow process, but you can absolutely help them learn how to get along better with other kids, make and keep friends. And I teach this in Socially Smarter, which is part of the ADHD Dude membership site. Now, if you're thinking right now, well, I don't want my child to seek validation from others. I just want them to love themselves. That's what we would call toxic individualism. It's this idea that somehow your child is going to love themselves just by you giving them positive affirmations rather than them realizing that other people want to be around them and they're likable. This has nothing to do with being popular or anything like that. 
All it means is that your child needs to recognize that at least one other kid their age wants to be around them. Because knowing that even one kid wants to spend time with you can really help build self-confidence. Hope this is helpful. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.